Okay, the first thing you need is a new version of ExamView. And I'm going to show you right here the ExamView test generator is the part of ExamView sof software that you use to create a new test. And so I will go into this test I've created. So I've created a test in ExamView, and it is 10 questions. An ExamView test will show you a paper version if you want. It has all sorts of answer keys and things right there. Um, you can see this this test has multiple choice so I have A B C D here I also have some open response questions and once those are imported into Schoology the teacher would need to grade the open response but the multiple choice ones will be self grading up on the file menu way up at the upper left if you look there's an option to export make sure that's highlighted there for you and then you see a number of options in the little dialog box that pops up. The second to last one says Blackboard 7.1 to 9.0. That's this one right here. And that's the one we're going to choose. We need to export this quiz as a Blackboard file type. Right away it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to choose my desktop because I want it to be very easy to find. And I'm going to put a file name here. I'm going to call this Jake Quiz, and we'll say Save. It then asks me for some information. The first thing I'm going to do um, at the very top is put in a test name, and we'll just call this Jake Quiz 1. You don't need to fill in the description, the formatting, the feedback, leave that alone. But I do like to, um, you do need to put a directory name for the images. And that's for all the images that come over with these quizzes. And I just name it the same as I named the quiz itself. Then we're going to say OK. It thinks for a moment. I'm going to minimize this and we'll go right into Schoology. Okay, I'm in a Schoology folder, and I'm at a point where it says really important quiz. Um, this is a quiz I've created. There's nothing in it. We'll click on it and show you that. Um, there are no questions. So when I click Add Question, if you look near the very bottom, it says Import Test or Quiz. That's what I'm going to choose. It only has two options, Import from Blackboard 7.1 to 9.0 or Ed Mastery. We are going to do the Blackboard. That's what we exported and say Next. Now it's going to ask me for the file. and I need to click that. And then I'm going to need to find that Jake Practice Quiz. It's going to be a zipped folder. And there it is, jakequiz.zip. You can see that. Double click it. After the upload is finished, it says complete, and I can click the import button. Takes just a moment, and you can see the questions are in. You will see next to them where it says multiple choice, one point, multiple choice, multiple choice. I'll click the gear, and so we can edit one of these questions. And when you look at this question, you'll see that it does have the correct answer marked right there. And so it will work as designed.